now what we can do we can just copy and paste them below copy and paste them below but we are we are uh, we are rendering images for example if we have thousand images copy and paste thousand time and you need to change the title and the index of that image that is really painful so what you can do just delete this three line i have just look through all of the images and comment it out i'll write once again and explain to you inside this nanometer just write a let variable image item list this this dot state dot image list map by using this map formula we can look through all of them and we can use that inside this react fragment okay let me show you how to do that just write image this is the variable we are going to use this is an arrow function print anything or write any jsx code we need to return return uh, to write multiple line code we need to give this first bracket button tab here inside button we will have few attributes on click in html you need to write on click to action any of javascript function but in jsx you need to write on c with uppercase on click c with uppercase for now we are we don't want any action later on we will create a function and that will be action to click and open with a large image okay the style is equal background will be colon none and this should be a comma don't give semicolon this should be a comma okay key key should be an unique doesn't match with another properties so in in our case every image source is unique to us okay so just write image dot image source inside this button we will have our image okay img okay now just write source change the attributes you want image dot image source okay that's totally fine now we are going to use this image item inside our react fragment dot wrapper okay inside this wrapper we will i will add some inline styling we want to write uh, write our javascript code so for that we need to give second bracket we will declare our image item list inside it okay save it styling just write style is equal this dot state here i also made an comment just okay just do like this image style image list con style and this is this is the two variable we need this is the object inside this object we have image list con and the style is display flex and this time this time we need to give one second bracket because the se uh, another second bracket we already declare it inside this dot image style dot image list con style mean something went wrong with return this is wrong spelling just write return save it once again reload the page you can see all of the images are showing okay now it's time to work with our 
uh, action when you click on any of these images it will be bigger okay it will show in the gallery and will have a close button in that gallery okay so at first uh, on this on this variable we have button inside the button we have a on click okay here we need to give an second bracket and above this render method we will create another function and really handle click just write a function of handle click okay this is wrong this should not be function because it because this is a class you need to write function in perpetual javascript but this is object oriented because we are writing inside it a class i just want to uh, prevent the default action e for event e dot prevent default okay this dot handle action name of the function right click on it inspect element now go to the console when you click any of these images this should go this is this action is working okay fine okay now we are going to write an if statement just write if this dot state dot image style dot image list con style is equal 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 f l e x which is true uh, image list con style is flex display flex it should be display display is flex which is true when this is true it will do some action inside this if statement uh, will change the property inside our state so this the right way to change our property inside this state just write this dot set state this is a function and inside this state just give a object sign inside this object we can change okay okay inside this image style we'll have another object just give a comma this time just write large l r g image con style style this one will be display of none because initially it will be nothing but when you click on the button it will be display block and this image list con style will be gone just change it inside this set state just write image style okay image style curly braces we are now inside this image style inside image style just write image we can just copy and paste just copy it and paste it here but this time this should be known and this should be block before that we need to print our large image inside this wrapper okay okay above this wrapper just write dot uh, lg dash img dash con write the same as mine otherwise css will not work for you style is equal this dot state dot image style dot large image con style okay inside it will have the large image itself just write l r g image here we will have few attributes 
from this large image we will print all of the all of the attributes from this state before that inside our arrow function we need to give the parameter props okay just write this time we don't need to give anything like like this okay props dot title change the image source now let's change it from here dynamically so source is equal something title is equal something details is equal something okay now we are going to declare another state inside this state large image we already declared it here we will have few properties that is src is blank title is blank comma details is also blank okay now we are printing this large image with everything blank but this time so before that just write this dot uh, state dot large image dot uh, uh, not title this should be source when you click on this list image and it will action on this function handle click now we will work with our large image ok for that we need to loop just write object dot values we want to loop our values from this object this dot step dot image list from the image list when you click any of the images uh, that value is our object okay value of that object is our object for each this is the way we are going to loop okay by using this object dot values we are selecting an element we can say that now log out few thing just the right log step element dot image source okay something went wrong with this one click okay we will fix that later on for now just click any of the images you can see the output it's showing all of the loop uh, source of loop okay but in large images nothing is showing here so let fix it okay just write here source string is equal uh, it's a let variable let source string is equal uh, quotation mark dot dot plus e dot t r z e t we are targeting to our element e dot target dot s r c source element and we are converting it to string and we will slice slice it to 21 we want to uh, start from 20 on character for example we are slicing our image from this is a comment you, you know by using this this is a comment but uh, when you do like this double quotation mark this is a string and this string is starting with this L okay this is a zero index zero and this O is on zero one two three up after reducing this 21 character we will get our source string of our url of our image ok just co comment out this localhost 3000 and just console log by using e.target source we want to know the source of our image 
so when you click on it refresh the page when you click any of the images you can see this is the source we want to match the source this image name with this okay we are ex uh, excluding this 21 character by slicing from this target source 21 character is this this many character we want to slice and we want to add two dot before that you see we are adding two dot with a plus okay now what we are going to do below that we can uh, you can see by using console log source string now let's match if element is equal when you deploy your website then what you need to do you need to change the slice number to your domain number okay how many character you have in your domain just put it here just write element uh, dot dot img image source is equal source string if this is true when any of the image source will match with our state image source it will do some action that is will change our properties of our large image just write this dot act uh, remember our large uh, large image was blank but now we want to change our property from the large image just copy the large image ok where it is search for large image copy this and paste it here now it's blank but we need to change all of them 